All right, welcome back to Spaceborn 2. This is patch 4.0. Now, this video is not going to be about new content specifically, but a burning question, especially new players have. Uh, the cost of everything, they say, oh my God, everything's so expensive. Uh, I should buy it early. I should wait. I should do this. We're going to find out today. So, system wise, I am in Zonixer and I am level 10 pilot. So what we are going to, this is here is at Sonic station. You have to, if, if you're doing this for a capital ship, it has to be at a station. It cannot be at an outpost. It cannot be at a trade hub, cannot be at a faction hangar. It has to be a station. doesn't matter what the station is as long as it's a station. Otherwise you cannot find these for sale because they can't dock there. So you won't find them at outpost. So, I was going to do this video with the mothership because it's more dramatic and everybody's like, oh, I want a mothership so bad, uh, but I'm going to do it with this to show you. Here is the quandary. I'm level 10. This ship is level 10. Now, this price here is going to be a little different depending on where you are and each time you reload because all of these will be slightly different. Uh, you'll have different things here and different lo loadouts slightly because it's RNG. But this will give you the gist of it. So if I buy this now at level 10, it's 14 and a half million. And then I'm going to finish this video. We'll all smash it all together. Once I get to level 20, we'll try this again. We'll see what the cost of it is level 20. I'll jump in this level 10 one. I'm just going to let it sit here and we will go and we'll upgrade it the 10 levels between add the costs together and find out just which is better do we buy it early and upgrade at all the levels or do you wait until you're really ready for it speaking of this ship is amazing and also it sucks so it looks fantastic it was like oh my god i want one so bad it in in fighting in space combat it's terrible but it looks really cool so we're going to buy it right now. So now I have a Xanthian. I have my very own heavy fighter. By the way, this is not the command ship. This is a heavy fighter. The reason I say this is once you get into faction combat, you'll understand when you upgrade your um, generals, this is the model for the heavy fighter. The command ship has a slightly different model. So we'll be back with you uh, after a little bit uh, once I level the tent. 10 more levels, and then we'll check out the cost difference between the two. Now, all right, as you can see, I am now level 20. I am back at Sonic Station in Zonixer. So we are going to look at what the Xanthian costs at level 20. We happen to have one right here. It is level 20, and it is 27 million. I just want to write this down. 681. 762. Again, this is not an exact amount, but right now we are almost a full 13 million more expensive, but that's without upgrading the level 10, 10 levels. So I don't actually need to buy this to prove the point. We're going to come over here. Now I'm going to put timestamps below because some of you don't care about watching me get in this ship and fly it around. But I know there's going to be others that are going to lose their minds if they don't see me get in this big, beautiful ship and fly it around to go to the faction hangar. So, timestamps below. It'll skip over to the price, and we'll get to where we're at. But for right now, I am going to call this big bad boy. And we're going to go outside and take a look at our ship. And then when we get in, we're going to fly over to the faction hangar, and we're going to look at the upgrade. There it is. That's a weird place to put it. Slow boating it all the way there. God, this thing is massive. And it, compared to the mothership, this is like a toy. We'll do a little little once around just for the the fans of it, just so you can kind of see just how ridiculous this ship is. And, and it's just really sad that it's so bad in combat because it's absolutely impressive I mean this thing is just badass looking look at the size of those damn guns and it can't hit the side of a barn actually that is what it's meant for hitting the sides of barns it's not meant to hit small ships so let's go in here 
Get down. There we go. And we're going to fly over to the faction hangar. I've already done a, an interior view of one of these before, so I'm not going to get into all that. All right. We're going to do this because this is going to be slow as you could imagine. Hold and see. Free camera. Check that bad boy out. All right. That's not what we're here for. We are here to go over to a faction hangar and check it out. So there is currently a bug in 4.0. And you have to remove all of your installed equipment. Put it in the bank so that you can upgrade your ship itself. Also, this doesn't exactly land per se. <laughs> it just kind of hovers close enough so that you can do the upgrade. See how slow it's moving. That's eh, not that bad. It's funny, my, uh, they granted I've leveled it up to level 20 now. My level 20 X-M has more, uh, hit points than this thing does. Alright, let's move this big bad boy. Flying skyscraper is what this thing is. Right, won't let me do it. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of meander in here. Find the pad. It's right there. This is the hard part, because you can't see what the hell you're doing, because it's so big. Come down, come down. Try to get it. Oh, oh, we're too low. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on. This thing is such a monster to have to move. Alright. Slow down. Stop moving. Right there. Come down just a little bit. Stop there. Stop there. Stop. Start. Stop. 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 God, getting this thing to do anything is a nightmare. Alright. Let's see if that gets us close enough. All right. Well, I would say that's probably close enough. Part of it's clipping into it. We are going to lose a bunch of our stuff on it, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to have to write these down each time. So to level 11, we are 528, 623. Seven, eight, nine, eight, five. I have a feeling it's going to be more expensive to uh, buy it early and upgrade it than it is to just buy it once you have a crap load of money to spend on it. And I do mean a crap load because, man, fitting this thing out, God forbid you want to put full legendaries on this. Oh my, you just you, you don't even understand how expensive it is. The weapons on this thing cost like 30 million each. And there's a bunch of them. 797 We're at 16 8 8 1 1 5 9 We're already at almost a million a level to upgrade it. Nine, eight, one, eight, eight, four. Last level. All right. So, got them all written down. We're going to start with 14, 6, 8, 2, 2, 1, 6. We're going to add 5, 2, 8, 6, 2, 3. Add the next level, 95. Then six two nine, three four seven, six seven nine. What do we got? Seven ten. Okay. Do do seven three zero, oh, seven two. Got a seven eighty, four three four, eight thirty, oh, seven two, eight eight one, one five nine. Almost there. Nine three one, five two one, and lastly nine eight one, 
84 equals. No, it's a little cheaper. I'm surprised. I mean, it's quite a bit cheaper, actually. 22 million. 234,023 credits versus 27 million. So it is 5.4 million cheaper. That actually really surprises me that uh, the difference between them is that great. So from level 10 to level 20, it does appear it is superior to buy it as early as possible. I may make a later video find out how much it is at level 30 because I'm also going to just park this. I'm not going to use it right now and see what that costs. So that could be interesting. And then we still have two more things to put on this and a whole bunch of other costs involved. So that's fun too. I don't know if you can paint that. Nope. Can't paint it. God, look how big it is. Uh, it's a monster. All right. Thanks for watching everyone.